To convert the Skyfly Max into a float plane, I used 26 inch floats available on eBay and hobby stores. Uh, they're actually a little more than 26 inches and mine was made by Hyperion but I think Hacker sells a similar type of float. Mine came green, um, it is laser cut foam and I just painted it silver. The main strut at the front is the original strut um, included with the airplane. I just removed the wheels, um, took the thread off and uh, used the strut as is. Make sure the strut is fairly wide open. I used 0 0.20 wire as a spreader bar. As long as the strut is wider open than what you want, you can then bend it a little closer using the spreader bar and that way the wire will be tight. The rear mount was made using 0 0.078 music wire. It's a really simple design. It has a U-shape back there which is then tied to the tail boom using cable ties and the whole unit was then secured um, using a little bit of automotive um, goop to prevent any rotation. I soldered a small spreader bar across here um, so that it'll be more stable. So basically it comes down, goes back in a U and goes back up and uh, in total three cable ties. Very stable that way. Also used a 0 0.20 spreader here. Just again make it wider than you want and then tighten it up using the spreader bar and it'll be nice and tight. I used a 0 0.20 um, wire support from the top of the front uh, main strut to the bottom of the rear main strut to prevent any rearward movement of the floats during takeoff and landing. The floats come with mounting hardware but they would not work for the application on the Skyfly Max. I just used a piece of wood, um, cut it to shape, drilled it to the right size and glued it to the float with epoxy and then painted the whole thing silver. The spreader wire, um, the 0 .2020 wire, is attached to the main strut using cord, which I then soak with CA, and it makes an extremely strong joint that way. The standard propeller included with the airplane is an 8x4 two-bladed prop. I found that uh, my airplane just did not have enough oomph that way and swapped it out for a three blade master air screw 8x6. Remember to balance your propeller. Um, this increased the watts to 245 and now the airplane takes off with ease. Um, I don't run the airplane at full throttle for any length of time. In spite of the change of propeller I am still able to use the same motor and the same ESC the airplane comes with. Since my airplane does not have a water rudder I decided to extend the airplane's uh, rudder so that I will have control on the water. As you can see a small piece of foam was glued to the back of the rudder with uh, foam safe CA and this works really well on the water. Because this now puts extra strain on the fin I secured it uh, on each side with a wire support. Once again 0 0.020 wire is used and that is just secured to the fin and the stab with foam safe CA. And it makes a really strong unit here now. For the first few flights I actually put some tape over the uh, air intake over here because I was worried that some water may get into it. But it turns out that the tape did not even get wet so I decided to remove that. Now the normal ventilation is uh, once again restored into the uh, fuselage. Because the increase in propeller pitch may put some extra strain on the motor I decided to put an air scoop um, onto the side of the fuselage right here. It is made in the standard way by cutting a plastic spoon and then securing it uh, with a bit of uh, foam safe CA. The float used is a Hyperion float and it comes as green but I painted it silver. It has a reasonably smooth texture but it's a little rough for running on the water. So I used a sheet of clear plastic, this is just from uh, packaging material, to um, line the part of the float in front of the step, not all the way to the front, that's not necessary, just a bit like that and I just epoxied it and um, it's just drying here now. That way it'll have a perfectly smooth um, surface to run on the water. I found that the airplane had a bit of difficulty taking off. Um, this f the float surface is reasonably smooth but not perfectly smooth. So I took some clear plastic and I epoxied it to this part of the float here and the same on both obviously. Uh, this made a huge difference and uh, the surface here is now perfectly smooth and the airplane now takes off very easily.
I have found the standard canopy retention system which basically is a small piece of velcro behind here to be unreliable and uh, decided to modify it. I uh, placed four hooks on the nose of the airplane, one here, one there, and then the same on the other side there and there. I use the top ones to secure the canopy during normal flight but the hook system is actually there to position my camera right on the canopy over here. Here you can see the keychain camera mounted on the canopy of the Skyfly Max using the four hooks. It is easy to change the positioning if necessary.